Good morning. And welcome to Winnipeg. Now, I did come back to the model table last night, but I think probably most of you have already seen it, or at least some of you have. Uh, okay. Um, now, about that video that I did last night. I uh, uploaded it around, oh, I guess 10 p.m. Then I went to bed. Got up this morning. It wasn't in 8K. This is so frustrating. I don't know why sometimes YouTube takes a, an awful long time to render my 8K videos into 8K. And I, it, now, mind you, it is it is real good 4K. <laughs> yeah, there's no question about that. At least I think I think it is. Anyway, enough about that. Okay, we did get two people request those little parts for for the uh, uh, the pulpit or grandstand. To, you know, if you want to modify it. So that means if I've got two people, I have to have a draw. That's the only fair way to do it. Uh, one one of them's in Tasmania, and the other one is right here in Canada. Now that's that's so far. Um, then the 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 chap in in Canada, he sent some some photos of his stash. I I don't know. He he didn't say don't show anybody this, uh, but I just want to show you his stash. Holy cow! And and here's me with absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're setting up for painting. We're going to try and paint today. We're going to have to do two different colors. We're going to have to do the uh, the 19 on the uh, grandstand. I'm not going to call it the pulpit anymore. I don't I don't like that term. I like I like the grandstand better. So I'm going to try and remember to call it the grandstand from now on. So the 19 goes on the grandstand around the outside and uh, I guess the uh, 66 we're going to be using for a lot of our little parts and uh, then I guess we'll paint the the uh, deck part of the grandstand in the 77 later but uh, that's probably going to be about all we're going to be doing today maybe tonight I'll go back at the uh, <clears throat> with my LEDs you know I'm trying to see if how I can easily dim LEDs so that you could light up the inside of a ship if I wanted to do it I'm d I'll just show you how I would go about it and there's probably a hundred better ways than the way I'm doing it but I just sort of gives me something to do it's sort of something interesting and that's why I'm that's why I'm doing this LED thing uh, anyway let's uh, recompose here a little bit and uh, uh, get our parts all lined up and uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have the air here already. You probably couldn't hear that, but uh, <laughs> it's there. <laughs> uh, oh, we're going to use the TimberTech uh, airbrush again. I'm going to keep using this until I have trouble with it, or at least maybe I'm going to, I should say, I'm going to keep using it until I'm convinced it's really a good airbrush. So far, I, I think it's it's really good for the money. I think it's I hate to say this, but I think it's just as good as the Iwata. In a lot of ways, it's better because it comes with uh, three different sizes of reservoirs. It uh, it comes with three different needles and, and nozzles. Uh, well, actually, it it just has three different needles, but two of them sh two of them share one of the nozzles. So there's only two nozzles. But you get all that in Iwata, and you, as I've said before, you're going to be spending over ten times as much for the same thing. Now, I know people are going to say, well, it's not the same thing. You're comparing Chevrolet with Rolls-Royce. Uh, yeah, I, I realize that. But uh, uh, the Chevrolet will get me to where I want to go just as good as the Rolls-Royce. <laughs> okay, let's recompose here. Okay, what I am planning to do is I'm going to do the grandstand with the 19, as I've mentioned before. And then we're going to have to do a bit of a color change and reset up. And I'll probably put the macro lens on for the smaller pieces.
now it's it's pretty much as easy to pour back a lot as a little I think I'm going to improve on it by spraying it anymore. Let's, let's just let that dry. Okay, let's do our color change. Now, I think that this is possibly the first time that I did a color change without, you know, removing the nozzle and the needle and completely disassembling, you might say, the uh, the airbrush. I just uh, back flushed probably four times altogether. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, this is going to be the uh, 66.
out a little bit heavy on that one. I've lost the detail. Well, we'll see what happens when it dries out. Well, here we are on this cloudy, wintry Winnipeg afternoon. And we got our airbrush all cleaned up here. And, uh, yeah, I think marking that by the way I did it was a good idea. Oh, speaking of marking, I put a little X on this one right here so we can... It's, it's probably, I would say, 90% dry right now. It, it, maybe not quite 80% dry. But I'm noticing that I can see the texture of the of the planking, you might call it. Uh, I, I think we're going to get away with that carelessness on my part. Um, what was I going to say here? Oh, I uh, I put the airbrush back together. I, I did disassemble it and uh, and I cleaned it up um, uh, completely and re-oiled it and what what have you. And I, I what I was going to say is I just put it back together finger tight again, and we'll just see if that keeps working. I don't want to have to be cranking the. Uh, the, the nozzle head down you know really hard if I don't have to okay is there any more here no they're all, I got them all okay those little ladders I'm wondering if maybe I could have given them just a little bit more I can sort of see the green tape in bet in between there but I think the ladders themselves got caught that, that's the main thing <clears throat> okay um, yeah I don't know if there's anything more I want to do in today's episode or not. Now just let me push stop and think about it for a minute. Now I don't know when it was we started on step 13 here, probably about a week ago I guess, and uh, we basically now just have to drop some parts down, but a moment ago I was looking at 14, and 14 just has a continuation of, of these things. And, and, you know, it could have been that what I should have done, well, it's too late now because I got everything all cleaned up, but possibly it would have been a good idea. In fact, not even possibly, it would have definitely have been a good idea to have assembled these and painted them at the same time. Now, I'm not uh, quite as adverse to airbrushing as I was a few months ago, so I, I don't mind doing it again. I might just quickly do these off off camera and just get them finished up because it it would just be more of the same. So, yeah, but I think these came out pretty good. Okay, back to thirteen. Okay, I guess we need the hull on the table again. Okay, on second thought, maybe we shouldn't put the hull on the table. Maybe I should just quickly go ahead and, and get these done because as near as I can tell everything else now is done we did spray the crane we did spray the catapults these these uh, 40 millimeter anti-aircraft guns are done uh, and so are all these little ones so uh, I, I think that maybe what I should do is just quickly go ahead and do these so I'm going to call today's episode a day thanks for watching everybody and all being well we'll be seeing you tomorrow